Today I'll be taking a look at this reproduction woodpecker's chamfer plane I got off Amazon for 25 bucks. So here's the website for woodpeckers for this chamfer plane. And uh, here's the whole lineup. You get the deluxe set, which includes a bunch of plane bodies and, and blades and the racks for them. Um, here's what I was interested in, just the single chamfer plane, 45 degree flat blade. This is $159 US. I'm from Canada, so it's going to be a lot more. Um, so $159 for the plane body. So if I go to Amazon, this is actually where I purchased mine. I just did a search for chamfer plane and look at all the products that come up. These are all different vendors that are selling these things. We have $19 all the way up to $30. Some include the blades. Most of them just have the flat blade, which is what I bought. $25. Um, if we go to Wish, which is just an offshore website, I'm pretty sure you're, you're familiar with it. Same as banggood.com. Uh, here it is for $29 US. This is interesting. Here, here's a product shot that they're marketing for this. Notice his shirt here. If I go to the Woodpecker's website, it's the same picture. They, they don't even bother getting a different model. And they, they didn't even blur out the woodpecker name here. See that? I, I've seen pictures where they actually took the time and blurred it out. Um, and I've seen videos where they used this same video and they blurred the woodpecker name out. I don't know how they're allowed to even to reuse product shots from the original website. Like, isn't there copyright laws? So I realize I'm part of the problem by purchasing one of these offshore uh, duplicate clones for $25 instead of paying $159 US for the original and supporting the company that originally made the plane. But I, I can't really justify spending $159 US for an aluminum plane. So it's not even like cast iron machined like, uh, like Lee Valley Veritas and Lee Nielsen planes. This is a, a pretty inexpensive product to manufacture. You know what it costs for a Canadian like me to buy a $159 plane? Uh, here's a shopping cart for woodpeckers.com. $159 US, $50 shipping to me, $214 US. That's $257 to get to me. And I, I've, I've bought from them before. And UPS charges me seventy-five dollars to to pick it up from the post office. I don't know where this UPS fee comes from, but to, to order from Woodpeckers specifically, I had to pay seventy-five dollars to get my product. Otherwise, I had to send it back. So I cannot spend like three hundred and seventy-five, three hundred fifty dollars uh, to buy this plane. So yeah, I'm gonna buy this for twenty-five dollars free shipping, and I, I get a two-dollar coupon too. You can make up your own uh, decision. That's that's what I did. So we'll take a look in the box. This is how it comes. Make job easier, chamfer plane. So I did have it open before because I did play with it, but this is what you'll see in the Allen key to take out all the screws. That's how you take the face off, and get at the plane. And um, basically this is it. It's got a level and like the other one it has the adjustment knob and the chamfer blade that's in it. And as you see, this is one of the issues. It's uh, painted red, however the part that rides on their wood is also painted red. And as a lot of the other reviews mentioned, this does rub off on your wood. So. So finally I have all the screws out. Uh, I'm just going to show you what's inside it. Basically you take the face off and here is the blade. So 
So it's the same type of blade as you get from woodpeckers. When I first got this, the adjustment mechanism wasn't working right. It wasn't going up and down. When I got it, it was bottomed out past the threads and jammed. So I had to, uh, it really took a lot of force, but I managed to get it back on the thread so it could go up and down again. This makes the blade retract and advance. Um, you put this in here. Uh, basically, I'll show you how you sharpen it first before I put it all together. Um, you basically sharpen this edge which is the bottom edge and I would recommend also sharpening this edge too to make a nice point. Uh, it came relatively sharp meaning I could cut wood but it wasn't very pretty um, so I sharpened it up to I think 2000 grit on my water stones. I just took a few passes you could see it's uh, reasonably not perfect, not mirror finish, but it's good enough to get a test. Um, didn't take too long. I'm not worried about the sharpening. I knew when I got it, I'd have to sharpen it. Okay, so there we go. Um, how you advance it. You can see the blade sticking out there. So one thing I noticed right out of the box when I got the plane is that the um, blade moves quite a bit. Like look at this. Normally the blade should be um, seated against the body or at least secured with set screws like the uh, Veritas planes usually are. Um, but this rattles around and you can tell what's going to happen when you plane wood with that. It's just going to chatter. It's going to bounce around. You're not going to get a consistent edge. I thought maybe um, when you push it against the board it would seat itself into a position and sort of stay there and then it would take a pass but uh, I'm going to show you what it's like when you take a pass with a chattering blade like this. And I'm going to also show you later on in the video what I did to temporarily fix that. Okay, so I'll take a first few passes on this jointed ash board. I'll just take some light passes and I'll advance the blade when I feel it biting in. It's biting in a little bit. And I'll advance it a little bit. So there's a very light chamfer, I'd say a sixteenth of an inch. I'll go zoom in a little closer here. Okay, that's a little closer. Do you see all that red paint that's left? That's from the plane. That's not good. I don't know if uh, woodpeckers, well we'll see on the website in a minute when I take a look, but uh, I wonder if the woodpeckers paint is ground off here. So the edge is reasonably smooth. Let's take a bigger bite and see what happens. So at the beginning here there's chatter. reasonably consistent otherwise but that is messy that red paint and you can see all the marks just left behind let me flip the board over I'll do some more I'll do it the other green direction and see how it handles I'll take a the same big bite oh no it doesn't like that so we'll flip it around Try this. It's 
So I took a really big bite there, which I shouldn't have. I should have, uh, should have uh, gradually went into it, but uh, it handled it pretty good. It's most likely because of the blade sharpening that I did. At the beginning here, there's chatter. There's an inconsistent chamfer here, bigger bite here, and then for the rest of the way, it seems to be okay. So I'm going to leave the other sides because I'm going to show you what happens when I sort of improve the plane by getting rid of this side to side wobble with the blade. Basically, I'm going to put a jam a piece of paper in there for now to keep it seated in, in one place. I know it's not perfect, but just for this experiment, just to play with it, that's what I'm going to do. I think in the future, what I would do is, uh, there's a fair amount of aluminum meat in there. I think I would put a set screw in either one side against the blade or both sides. And I would just advance the set screw until it touches the blade and keeps it in place. So I'm just going to take a piece of cardboard and put it on the plain blade and close it up. That should be enough to hold it still. So, after that, I can't move the blade at all. Very solid. So I would suggest you do that. And we'll take a couple passes on the board and see if it made any improvement. So I noticed that did a lot less chatter. It was a, a, a reasonably smooth cut, left a good finish, and uh, I definitely noticed an improvement when I put the cardboard in to stabilize the blade. Let me show you a close up. So I'll just slide the board along just so you could see the edge. As you can see, it's a really crisp, nice, consistent edge from a $25 joke purchase, which I didn't think would work, but it actually does. So there you go. This is my experience with the reproduction version of the Woodpecker's Jamfer Plane. You can make the decision for yourself if you want to save some bucks and buy this version, or maybe you want to buy the real original version. It's up to you. If you found this useful, I encourage you to like and subscribe.